Now we will see what is standard deviation and variance. We have seen mean deviation. If you remember, if we take di as xi minus x bar, that is, if we take mean of deviation about the mean, arithmetic mean, it comes to zero because xi minus x bar, if we take the values, it will ultimately, if we add those values, the, uh, the value of the deviations, individual deviations, that comes to zero. So what we had done? In case of mean deviation, we had taken the absolute value of di for our computations. Now, to get over this problem, we have another solution. And that is, if we take the square of deviation, that is, if xi minus x bar, this is deviation. If we take the square of this deviation, then also the mean of deviation would be zero. So here we define a new um, term that is called standard deviation standard deviation which is given as sigma this is the notation for standard deviation this sigma and this is defined as equal to root over 1 by n sigma xi x minus x bar square i equal to 1 to n so this is the definition of standard deviation clear if you compare it compare this with mean deviation with respect to mean this thing we had 1 by n sigma i equal to 1 to n absolute value of xi minus x so this was our definition for uh, mean deviation so we have modified it what we have done we have taken the square and then taken the under root so this is the definition of standard deviation the notation is sigma so sigma is root over 1 by n sigma i equal to 1 to n xi minus x bar square then we define the second term that is variance variance is the square of the standard deviation because many times it's difficult to find square root this comes handy so variance is the square of standard deviation square so this becomes 1 by n sigma i equal to 1 to n xi minus x bar squared this is the definition of variance clear so we'll take a take an example to understand this so we have this example find standard deviation and variance on the data 6 8 10 12 14 16 18 20 22 24 so first of all let's find out the mean how to find mean 6 plus 8 plus 10 plus 12 plus 14 plus 16 plus 18 plus 20 plus 22 plus 24 now how many numbers are there 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 so this is 1 by 10 of this thing so this is so this is 150 this comes to 150 this is 150 by 10 that is 50 so we have our mean that is equal to 15 okay now i'm rubbing this let's see next thing what we have to do we'll make a table here i'm writing x the value of x xi that is 6 8 10 6 at 10 12 14 16 so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 we have taken this value then what we have to do we have to find di and what is di di is xi minus x bar so let's find xi minus x bar that is this minus 15 so 15 minus 6 so this is 9 this is so if you add this will be 0 because this is the deviation with respect to mean so definitely you, you can see 97531 97531 minus and plus so this will be zero if you add them all it will be zero so what we do we take the square of this what is this 81 49 25 9 okay so what is the addition of this if we add all of this what is it so if you add this it comes to 330 now 
do we need anything more we have stand uh, we take variance because that will be square root of variance only standard deviation so variance is 1 by n what is n it is 10 so we have n equal to 10 then it is summation of i equal to 1 to n what is it di square x i minus x bar square so this is di square so what we get this is 330 by n is 10 so this is 33 so our variance is variance is 33 therefore standard deviation will be standard deviation will be under root 33 what is the value of under root 33 you can see from calculator so this is 5.74 we have found the variance and the standard deviation clear so we saw um, standard deviation and variance when we had a set of observations now what if we have discrete frequency distribution that is for every value xi we have a frequency associated with this i have explained to you many a times what is discrete and what is continuous frequency distribution so let's go ahead the result will be similar to what we had seen in mean deviation so what we'll get here this will be equal to root over 1 by n sigma i equal to 1 to n fi into in mean deviation we had absolute value of xi minus x bar here what we'll have we'll have xi minus x bar square so this is standard deviation and therefore variance will be just square of this that is 1 by n i equal to 1 to n fi xi minus x bar square clear now let's see an example to understand this we have this data this discrete frequency distribution and we have to find the standard deviation and variance for it one thing if we have continuous frequency distribution what we do in the case of mean deviation also i had told you that for interval if the interval is 10 to 20 xi what we take we take the mid value that is 15 is xi for 20 to 30 this will be 25 so on and this formula will be applicable there so whether it is discrete or continuous we'll use this formula only only so let's solve this example we have to find the standard deviation and variance of this frequency dis distribution so what we'll do we'll make a table first is xi xi is i'm writing the table i'm creating the table first so i have written this data in this form sigma fi so sigma fi is 30 okay what we need we need fi into di square so we will take di then we will take di square and then we will multiply it with fi so that the summation will uh, summation we can use it in the formula for standard deviation and variance i am writing the formula so that you are able to understand i am writing the formula for variance it is 1 by n sigma i equal to 1 to n fi into di xi minus x bar square so we need di square so how we find di di for di we will have to know what is the mean how do we find mean mean is f1 x1 plus f2 x2 and then by n so let's do this work also fi into xi this is 4 3 12 so we have added this it comes to 420 okay so what is mean mean is i equal to 1 to n fi into xi by n so fi xi is 420 and n is 30 so what we get 14 so our mean is 14 so what will be di di is given as xi minus mean that is 14 okay let's find out 4 minus 14 minus 10 8 minus 14 minus 6 okay then what we require we require di square so di square this is 
हंड्रेड थर्टी सिक्स नाइन नाइन थर्टी सिक्स थ्री ट्वेंटी फोर ओके एंड वॉट वी रिक्वायर इज एफ आई इंटू डी आई स्क्वायर सो वी टेक एफ आई इंटू डी आई स्क्वायर एफ आई इज दिस सो एम राइटिंग दिस सो वी हैव डन एफ आई इंटू डी आई स्क्वायर दिस इंटू दिस दिस इंटू दिस so it comes to this and when you add this we have added this this is this comes to 1374 so fi into di square sum of fi into di square is 1374 that is this value now we take sigma square equal to 1 by n of this and what is n n is this 30 so n is 30 so this becomes 1374 by 30 that is equal to 1374 divided by 30 it comes to 45.8 therefore standard deviation that is sigma is under root 45.8 let's see what is 45 root over 45.8 it comes to 6.7675 so we can take 7 7 so we have found the variance we have found the standard deviation of this discrete frequency distribution okay